Musaleta, where your tooth the cat, where the Alicadino Kaima, and the Ladina Kafroom in a little kitabi, well, Mushrikin, a fee, Narija Haname, Holidin, a fee hair, and the Ladina Amunu Amlu Solihati. Ule ika hum kairu beria. Jaze u hum and rabbi him jana tu adden and tajri men tehdi hell and haru call it in a fee. Ebede. Radio lahu an hu or do an. And delicately men cost you a rabbe. Sadakalahu la ding. The clear evidence. With the name of Allah, the merciful, uh, benefactor, the merciful redeemer, it says, those who reject truth among the people of the book and among the polytheists were not going to depart from their ways until there uh, should come to them clear evidence. A messenger from Allah, rehearsing scriptures kept pure and holy, wherein are laws or decrees right and straight. Nor did the people of the book make schism until there came to them clear evidence. And, ha and they have been commanded no more than this, to worship God, offering, offering Him sincere devotion, being true in faith, to establish re regular prayer, and to practice regular charity, and that is the religion right and straight. Those who reject uh, truth among the people of the book and among the polytheists will be in hellfire to dwell the end for I. They are the worst of creatures. Those who have faith and do righteous deeds, they are the best of creatures. Their reward is with their Lord, gardens of eternity, beneath which rivers flow. They will dwell then forever, God well pleased with them, and they with him. All this for such as fear of their Lord and cherish him. Was everybody able to hear that? Yes, sir. Good. Okay, I tend to uh, start out low, so that's the reason. Quran, a book of guidance and a mercy to all the world. You know, um, uh, I was on, a, on a, a particular job, and there was a uh, gentleman came in. He said, you know, they robbed a church. You know, they had the nerve to rob a church. And so I wanted to say to him, they'll rob God. And in fact, it's in the Bible. Will a man rob God? And it says, uh, uh, yes, they, they, they robbed him of the whole nation. Will a man rob God? And living in this day and time, as we heard in uh, the themes of the brothers that came before, we've got a lot of thieves and robbers out there. In fact, uh, the, uh, as we know, that uh, the... Uh, the religion of, of Al-Islam is the answer the, to the prayer of all the prophets. That's right. The answer to the prayer of all the prophets. Yeah. And uh, sure. once uh, it was uh, revealed th through the Quran, you know, once the Quran was revealed, and uh, the last uh, sermon of the prophet, you get the last part of the revelation where it says Allah had completed uh, the religion. And, uh, you know, as mentioned in, uh, in the Holy Quran, some people say, uh, say they translated one of the verses in there, that is uh, for the, uh, the religion to be dominant, like dominant over the people. But the word is to be more apparent, more apparent. And we know that the Holy Quran is a word of Almighty God. It's a message, a message from where? A message to a mortal human being from where? From Almighty God. You know, um, you know, we have the, the night of power called Layla to Qadr. The word uh, Qadr means to empower uh, uh, or the, uh, come from the potential and uh, uh, come out with a massive power. How many of you had blackouts recently? light went out in your neighborhood, in your block, in the city. Yeah. Can you imagine half the United States being 
in a blackout? Can you imagine the whole United States being in a blackout? Can you imagine the whole world being in a blackout? Now, what causes that? Can you imagine a generator that generates electricity and supplies the whole world? And without that generator, there's no light, no power, right? Well, that uh, electricity comes from two things, positive and negative. Positive and negative charge. You put those positive and negative charge to get, uh, together and you can come up with a light bulb, right? Electricity. You know, you can drive your car, you can do a lot of things with electricity. So if a human being can come up with a, uh, a generator, isn't almighty God, Allah, the one who generates all the energy? And what has happened is Imam Muhammad, uh, when he came in in 1975, he re reconnected the whole world, <coughs> reconnected the whole world back into the power source. Because right. Satan had disconnected the whole world uh, away from uh, the worship of Almighty God. And with that power, with that power, you have, uh, you're seeing now the manifestation of God's power working in this world. Allahu Akbar. You need to touch yourself. Every one of you should touch yourself. Because every one of you is a miracle. You are a living miracle. Because you once was dead and now you're alive. Allahu Akbar. You know, uh, 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 there's a, uh, they had a movie, uh, they got many of them about zombies and all that stuff. They had many of them out there. But you know one of the first ones that was out there was the Night of the Living Dead. Anybody ever seen that movie, Life Living Dead? What did they want to eat? The brain, right? They wanted brain. The Night of the Living Dead. In the Holy Quran, it says that in the and they'll know who feel like look. No, I'm sorry. That it says that uh, Allah sent down the Quran in Arabic that you might ta'gilun use your brain right think use your brain and that's what's the problem in the world now they have lost their mind they have lost their brain you know uh, uh, we know that uh, 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 that animals they're alive physically alive and they're moving all around us you got squirrels you got deer you got elephants Got all those animals uh, moving around, but you know that they're though they're alive, they're dead. They're sleeping in the world, moving around, having sex, eating, and uh, living and dying, but they are asleep. That's the way human beings are. They're asleep in the world. All our wake by. You know, um, I just. Uh, there was a, a person, a wise person said, if, once, if someone uh, takes something that's complicated and he makes it so that a, uh, a common person can understand it, that is the power of God speaking through that person. You know who said that? You know who said that? Albert Einstein. Think about that. That's what he said. Now we we know how uh, powerful I, uh, Albert Einstein was. He came up with M uh, equals M C square, and uh, you know we've got all these uh, nuclear fissures and all that stuff going all around. You know all around us and stuff like that. You got the nuclear power plants. You got the atomic bomb. He 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 helped usher all that in, where you know you're able to tap into the power of the atom and you come up with a atomic bomb. That you know, blow up a whole, you know, city, a whole state. You know, you got Albert Einstein, and you start looking at all these other people. You, you got Henry Ford. You got uh, all these people. That all of them had touched every aspect of our life, every aspect of. Don't you know you living in the uh, in the world? It, it might be before him. You living in the world of Henry Ford. You living in his mindset right now. You were living in the uh, world of whoever came up with the electric light. 
You're living in that mindset. You're living in a mindset of uh, whoever learned how to build a brick house. You know, all, all those things. You'll live in that mindset. And my point here is that there's many giants out there, giants out there, that come up with something that's necessary that will affect the, uh, the, uh, the whole life of a people. I could be wrong. Uh, the, uh, uh, the brother who uh, uh, dealt with the peanut, uh, John, uh, jo George, Washington. George Washington Carver, he did something with a peanut uh, that, you know, he, he, he made thousands of products out of it. <laughs> I could be wrong, but you know, that's a reflection of how they came up with oil. I mean, oil is just a waste on the ground. And now, oil touches every aspect of your life. So if you got all these people can do that, can an African American, can they have one? You know, Imam Muhammad, he, uh, that was uh, 1976, he was uh, uh, teaching Ethnic Survival Day, and he was talking about Bilalian. Imam Muhammad was moving us stage by stage, step by step into development. Mm -hmm. How many of you think we should be called the World Community of Al Islam right now? How many of you think that they should change the Muslim Journal to Bilalian News? Oh, it's Muslim Journal, right? And so, there was, um, I'm going to read something from, from, uh, uh, to you in just a couple more things. It says, um, Here's a quote. We are fighting for our culture and for our way of life. You can wipe out a generation of people. You can burn their homes to the ground and somehow they still will come back. But if you destroy their achievement, their history, there's like uh, they never existed. Just like ash floating. Who said that? from the movie Monument, Monument Man. I was in a meeting with, uh, her, her name is Dr. Maimon. Uh, she's a head of Governor State University. And she was uh, lecturing uh, to, uh, welcoming the people to a program where uh, uh, people had, had got high grade point averages. And uh, she was speaking. And I only took one note that she said out of a whole conversation. It says that if you have vision with no strategy, you have fantasy. So you, if you have an idea and you ain't got no plan, you got fantasy. And uh, we're living in fantasy land. We know that. You know, African Americans, they're definitely in fantasy land. They'll come in, and we got people like that. There's some people. I mean, uh, there's a chapter in the Holy Quran uh, where the Imam he gave tafsir on it, where it talks about the uh, the uh, the fig. I don't have time to go into it. When one of the ways he said uh, figs, you got all those seeds in there, right? Many, many, many seeds. He said that's just like people with many, many ideas. Yeah, and so you know, you got people that come up to you and say, "I got an idea." Okay, well, uh, okay. Then he said, "I got another idea." Okay? They say, I got another idea. idea. But what's the plan? He wants you to work out the plan. <laughs> Allahu Akbar. Bob Marley said, in this good, uh, great future, don't forget your past along the way. We cannot forget how we got here. And we cannot forget the people who brought us here. That's right. You cannot forget the people who brought, who brought us here. At one time, um, last, uh, just before Savior's Day, uh, four major of, of us uh, works with Myers Kellyas, but I, I can't say he's a major because Nafis, he's been here for six years. His wife has been here for uh, six years. We all have been supporting the Myers Kellyas for six years. And we're, we're just like one family. I mean, we work in tune and so forth. Back in uh, February, three of them got sick. Hatha got sick. He was in the hospital. He got sick. Osman was sick. Another brother who's not here today, he was a, a brother who was 80, 82 years old, a master electrician. 
he got to the point where, you know, he kept blacking out. And uh, they told him that he needed uh, to take dialysis. And he refused to take dialysis. He said, if God wants me, you know, he's ready to go. So I, I, I had to talk to him. I, I said, man, we appreciate you knowing all the work that you've done and so forth. And we just love you. We want to 